Hello everyone, it's Brianna. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an updated K-pop room tour. The reason it says final update in the thumbnail is because after this I have decided I am going to be moving on to a cottagecore aesthetic. <laughs> I have seen cottagecore things all over TikTok, Tumblr, Twitter, Instagram, and I am totally obsessed with the way it looks. I recently purchased a ton of stuff from AliExpress, so hopefully it comes within the next month or two so I can start getting ready to change everything by the end of March. Hopefully, when I have all that done, I'll be filming a room makeover and updated room tour for you guys again. So I wanted to film this one as a kind of goodbye to my K-pop room, but also do not worry, I am not moving away from K-pop or anything like that. I definitely still am following it a lot. I just feel like this room I've had for about two years now, or not not this room specifically, but this style of room I've had for a while, so I want to kind of switch a little bit into something new just for fun. I am so excited to show you guys my last and final K-pop room tour update. I hope you guys enjoy. Here is the exit slash entrance to my bedroom. I have just a hook with all of my pajamas and my regular worn clothes over here. And when we turn this way, this is where my Chungha poster used to be, but I actually decided to take out my manga bookcase from my closet and put it out for display. I have started this collection maybe my first or second year of high school and I've been collecting it since. I have some video game art books as well, mostly manga though, and I have some figurines. There's also more manga behind all the ones in the front because I have a lot, but I never ended up getting a second bookcase to display everything. This lenticular Sailor Moon wall art you guys probably find familiar if you watch my stationery and room decor haul from a couple weeks ago. In front of it, I have my little Sailor Moon Funko Pop and some My Hero Academia standees. They're all super cute. All of this here is from Box Lunch. This Sailor Moon puzzle is actually a 1,000 piece puzzle that I put together. It's really cute. I also got it from Box Lunch. It took me hours, but I am obsessed with it. I think the colors are so pretty, so I put it up here right next to my manga bookshelf. Here I have my tall standing lamp from Ikea. These are Jimin cup sleeves I got from a birthday event when I was still in Vietnam. My letter board. Lunar New Year is coming up this weekend. I'm super excited. This is a kitchen towel that I got from Target that I decided to hang up on my wall instead of using it as a towel. I just thought it was too cute to just throw in the kitchen. And over here are some calendar prints from Singa Studios. I just put these up using washi tape and they don't damage my wall or the cards. So that's typically what I use to hang up posters since you guys always ask. This right here is my little TV section. I have all of my Animal Crossing figurines and my K-pop albums. This vase I got from Ikea and the baby's breath from Trader Joe's. These ones are dried. I just left them in the vase until they died and this is the result. These are all of my little amiibo figurines from Nintendo. That is my one Yoshi yarn one, but all of these other ones are Animal Crossing ones. I just think they're so cute and I cannot wait for the new Animal Crossing to come out in March. It comes out right after my birthday, so I'm super excited. These over here are my little Todoroki figurines. Some of them are Funko Pop, some of them I got just from Box Lunch. I can't remember the brand, but I have my little Todoroki shrine over here, and I like that my Nintendo Switch actually matches his red and white sides. Um, it's really cute. I thought it was nice to put these together. I'm not going to go too in-depth with my K-pop album collection just because I already have a video up on my channel that I'll link below, but this is everything that I have so far. I haven't purchased any new K-pop albums since Twice As Feel Special came out. I think I bought that one and then TXT's Dream Chapter Magic and that was the most recent purchases I have of albums. I just haven't, I don't know. I don't know if I'm still gonna be collecting albums because I'm really running out of space. So we'll see. But yeah, this is my album collection so far. I have a lot, will I keep adding, who's to say? Over here is one of my smaller desks. I have two in my room. This one I use typically for smaller arts and crafts and to do my makeup. Over here, I have my Jungkook Premium photo from the Love Yourself tour. Up here, I have some prints, Halsey's Badlands vinyl, a Do Hyun cup sleeve I got from his birthday, my cousin sent it to me from Vietnam, my You Never Walk Alone BTS poster, Spring Day remains my favorite BTS title track of all time, but we'll see if Map of the Soul 7 changes anything. 
down here I have my Yuri on Ice postcard I got when I was in Japan, my Budapest spoon that one of my best friends got me, Hannah's pen pal letter, some BT21 merchandise, keychains, the Young Forever album, my little From Us 9 postcard, some more BT21 stuff, a postcard from Twice Signal era came with their album, a Sakura keychain and Momo keychain I got when I ordered um, slogans from fan sites. Here's a Namjoon photo card from their Japan Love Yourself tour. Among, I think this is a hair clip, but um, I put him on my wall grid because I don't actually use it in my hair, it's humongous. And then here's a Sonia Nusak fan art from Foxcat Wu. I'm really sad that X1 disbanded. It's, it's so sad for me, but I hope that the boys get to do a lot of more exciting things. Down here I have Tay Cook art prints. I'll link the artist that I got these from down below. Over here I have some more art prints. These ones are framed with some dried baby's breath. In this little corner between my desk and my balcony doors I have my Nintendo. This is the Ring Fit Adventure game. And then this is all of the extra like vinyl and sticker paper and stuff for my Cricut machine which I'll show you guys in a second. These are a ton of K-pop posters that I just haven't hung up and I don't have the space and funnily enough, I actually have about 15 more poster tubes downstairs in the garage with posters inside that I just don't touch anymore and I want to sell them but I'm so lazy to unravel all of them and post them online so they just are sitting in storage. Over here is all of my most used makeup. I have a ton more makeup than this but these are all the things that I typically reach for. I have ColourPop eyeshadows, my tinted moisturizer that I use, this is the one I use probably daily, foundation, my Glossier cloud paints, my I swear by these to use for blush, just boring makeup stuff, maybe I'll do a video on this if you guys are interested. There's me, this mirror I got from Ikea for about $15 if I recall correctly. On this part of my desk, I just have my 2020 desk calendar, a bag of Seas Candy lollipops that I bought because I ate all the ones I had before already. Here is my Cricut Explore Air 2. I have used this only a couple of times. I got it for Christmas and I've used it so far to cut out some iron-on patches for my brother, but I want to use it more for scrapbooking and journaling. I think I will try it out again soon sometime this week. I just purchased a bunch of cardstock from Joanne, so I want to use it to cut and I will let you guys know what I think. Over here, I have a cute letter board from Nordstrom Rack. Here I have a little Taeyeon cutout from one of her magazines and some X1 postcards. They deserved better. Moving on, this is my mini fridge with an Art by Angie sticker on it. On the inside of the mini fridge, I have some basic skincare stuff, some eye cream, some eye masks, skin care things, you know. And then I have some baking soda to try to take out the smell of dirt in my fridge because underneath it, I have a can of worms, literally a box of mealworms for my leopard gecko. And it kind of makes my fridge smell a little bit like dirt. So then I got the baking soda and it's helped immensely. Now my fridge smells like nothing and it's great. So this is my little mini fridge, skincare, worms. Boom. Now down here below my desk is an area I normally wouldn't show you guys, but I figured to be honest about my living experience, I should show you guys that I, I am pretty organized and clean, I think, but I do have like these weird little areas of mess that I just hide from plain sight. Um, I have this bag. This is my gym bag. I just have like my towel. I normally put my water bottle in here, um, my gloves, etc., my locker lock. And then over here, I have a little tote bag on my Hero Academia one. I got when I was in Japan and it's full of all the paper cranes that I've been folding. I think I have 20 something little ones and I have five giant ones and I'm going to hang those up from my ceiling probably sometime in the future. We'll see, maybe I'll hang them on my walls, I'm not sure yet. Over here I have replacement station, not stationery, sorry, I have replacement skincare items for when I run out of my current ones that I'm using. I'm almost out of face cream so this is going to be my replacement for that. Here's a BT21 cup I got when I was in Vietnam. My Ana Luisa jewelry that I have here, some more tote bags, hair clips, etc. Down here I have plug converters for when I travel. A six ring binder that I got in Vietnam that I just decided not to use anymore after I switched to my um, iridescent one. Some novels that I'm planning on reading soon. Kleenex, just super random crap that's down here on the bottom. This is my little fuzzy chair. 
Um, I got this, I think, for about $50 from Target. I hoped to find a cheaper one, but everywhere I looked at TJ Maxx, Home Goods, they all were around $50 to $60, so I decided to just get this one from Target. It's actually super comfortable, but occasionally I use chairs to stand to hang things up on my walls, and this chair, not a good one to stand on, you guys. I fell off and it hurt so bad because the legs are not stable enough for someone to stand on. Just PSA, if you get one of these chairs, do not stand on it, you will hurt yourself. Over here is my main desk area. You guys probably see this the most often on my Instagram. Here I have some stationary items, calendars, scratch paper, sticky notes, etc. Calendars, crayons, washi tapes. I have an in-depth stationery collection video on my channel, so I'll link that down below. My desktop. Here are some more sticky notes. My pothos plant that I got because a follower had actually suggested that since I am not so good at taking care of plants, this one is super forgiving. I watered her already today, so I hope that she stays alive. Here are some books that I have been reading. I just finished Crooked Kingdom. Um, I'm currently reading a Star Wars novel, but after that I'm going to be reading Carry On by Rainbow Roll, so I'm really excited. On my chair, while I'm not sitting on it, I have my iPad, my Bob's Burgers coloring book, and then a little blanket that I use sometimes when I'm editing at night and it's really cold. Um, I really love my Bob's Burgers coloring book. That's what I use my crayons for that you guys saw on my desk. It's really nice and just relaxing to color. Down here, I have some extra scratch paper. This is my craft paper that I use in my journals, all of the paper I bought from Joann's that I told you guys about, and then my printer that I use to print all of my journaling pictures are down here below. On my wall, I have my letter board. This one's from Forever 21. Here I have a picture from IU's 2019 season's greetings, but I decided to just keep it up. I didn't pay $50 to only use it once. And then here are some Hanabi Bara Twice What Is Love as 90s anime postcards. The BTS Map of the Soul Persona poster. I loved the concept photos for this album. They are probably some of my favorites of all time for BTS. Here is my Godzilla poster that I love. I've had that since I was in high school. Honey and Flower Co. keychains. You guys have seen these a lot. Some more Egg to Bell prints. My Itzy slogan that I got when I was in Thailand. Up here, I have my Twice Marie Claire on top of a Daiso easel that I got. These are Twice postcards from Once Halloween, the first one. These, the top one, is a slogan from the Love Yourself concert tour on Namjoon's birthday two years ago. The bottom is from Red Velvet Red Mare. Here I have Eyes One's light stick with some AAA batteries hiding in the standee portion. Some more dried baby's breath in an Ikea vase. My Nezuko figurine I got for Christmas. She's so cute. I love her. Some more Once Halloween postcards. My tiny Pantone objects and a Year in Japan books that I got as gifts and a Daiso easel again. And then some more Once Halloween postcards. This is what that whole section of my room looks like for reference. Over here is my bed area. You can see some posters on my wall, some flowers and plants. Okay, so my camera ran out of batteries. I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to my phone really quick. So sorry if there's a big change in quality, but the sun is going down and I am determined to finish this video. This print in the corner I got when I was in downtown Disney at the Disney parks. They have all of the little snacks you can get inside the park and I thought it was so cute. Disneyland was my life growing up and I still love going. So I thought I would get that for my room. Here is a Line Friends poster. I got Sally when I was in Seoul. This down here is my second pothos plant that I got. She is doing well also. And here is my perfume that I use every day, my die sets for Dungeons and Dragons, and Connor Franta's note to self, which I have on another Daiso easel. Down here in my bookcase, I just have some extra random stuff. I have my Polaroid camera, and then the case I got from Urban Outfitters. This cute little paper crane that I have. I got this when I was in Japan. It's made out of ceramic, I'm pretty sure. My Victor pin, which is gigantic, I also won in a game in a Yuri on Ice Cafe when I was in Japan. And here is the life-changing magic of tidying up by my girl Marie Kondo. Shout out to her. Love you. Down here is some fake plants that I have inside of another Ikea vase. Here's my Momo and Namjoon dolls you guys saw if you watched my unboxing. If you're wondering where I got these, I'll link that video down below as well. Here is my trash can very interesting. Some calcium powders for my leopard gecko. 
This was a bug bite cream I got, I think, when I was in Hong Kong because I got bit by mosquitoes there as well. My mosquito problem is alive and well. Here's just some extra documents. These are my photo card binders, some kinfolk magazines, and then some extra books that I have in the corner. Over here, I have one of my backpacks you guys saw if you watched my What's in My Backpack video. One of my hydro flasks. My beads are hiding back there in my basket. Some fuzzy socks I wear to bed. My other hydro flask. And on top of here is my leopard gecko's cage. Or tank, I guess I should say. I believe she's hiding inside of her log right now. I'll try to find her if she comes out later. But this is her little tank. Behind her tank, I just have some regular bedtime stuff. I have tissues for my nose running in the morning. <laughs> I have really bad allergies. My chapsticks, Aquaphor, which I also use for my lips. Hand lotion, earplugs, some TV remotes, my oolong tea, which is really important. And then some melatonin gummies and regular vitamin gummies. Up here on my nightstand, I guess you could call it, are some fake IKEA plants, some BTS items, and my little Sakura Seasons greetings I got from her fan site. This side has a little calendar on it and a little mini Sakura in the corner, and the other side has a giant print of her with a little mini calendar at the bottom. I think it's so cute. I didn't end up getting any official Seasons greetings this year, instead I opted to get this one fan site Seasons greetings. Up here, I have my wall CD player from Amazon. You just yank this cord at the bottom and then it turns it on and plays. Obviously, this is the BTS You Never Walk Alone CD. I listen to this album probably the most often along with Love Yourself Tear. Those are the ones that I listen to the most. This guy here and this guy here are prints from Egg to Bell. Here on top of my windows, I have my Tomorrow by Together posters. They're really cute. They're from their albums. Here, I have my AB6 cut out from the Star Magazine. On the other side, I have my Stray Kids cut out from the same magazine. Above my bed, I have these fake flowers that I put on my wall using command strips, and these flowers are from Ikea. My bed frame is also from Ikea. Here are my BT21 Koya headbands. This here is my reading lamp I got from Amazon. BT21 cushion pillows. My Pooh Bear that I got when I was born, so I don't know where he's from. He's the same age as me, almost 23 years old. Here are my sheets. Sheets, bed frame, all from Ikea. I love my bed sheets a lot. I recently just washed everything again, so everything smells delightful. This is my gigantic plushie. I don't remember where I got this from. I think T Fluff store on Instagram. And then down below it is my weighted blanket that I got for Christmas from Costco. Mine weighs 15 pounds and I am obsessed with it. And that is my room. I hope you guys liked the video and it gave you guys some inspiration for how to set up your guys' K-pop rooms as well. And again, like I said, keep a lookout for my new room coming sometime in the next two months. Hopefully there's also some furniture I have to build. So there's a lot going on, but I'm really excited. I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.